What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel, back to Kinshu Gaming. I'm Kinshu, of course. Today, we're going to go ahead and move forward in the regular season. We're going to probably simulate two games and watch one of them. My goal is to at least get three games done uh, in this video. We're kind of moving slow. This is going to be part five already in the series. So I kind of want to speed things up a bit. We'll play, uh, we'll get three games out of the way. We'll play probably against the Jets because that is one of our rivals. And, uh, after their draft pick of the tight end that we were trying to cover in the draft, I am hoping that we win. But, we will see. In our last outing against the Buffalo Bills, we ended up losing by 28-14. to 14. Uh... Although the score is a little bit farther apart than what it actually was, we had a chance to come back, but our defense let us down on the last drive for the Buffalo Bills when they scored that last touchdown. It was the fourth quarter, the Bills were driving, and we had a third down on a couple of the drives, and we just weren't able to get off the field, and they ended up going down and scoring, much like they did on all their possessions. I believe we only stopped them twice. Once on an uh, interception by Adrian Phillips. And the other by forcing a punt. But with that being said. I liked what our offense did late. Although although be it, it was late. It was in the second half. It was end of the third quarter. Our offense started uh, clicking a bit. Cam Newton kind of caught rhythm toward the end. But it wasn't enough to come back but we're on to the Saints um, before we go ahead and get into the Saints though I do want to go ahead and look around the league the Jets are already 1-0 the Bills are 1-0 so we are third in the division right now I want to go ahead and take a look at the league schedule and just uh, see what happened last week who the Jets uh, beat. So the Jets beat the Broncos by two. Just go ahead and take a look on that. Sam Darnold has actually played a really good game. 310 yards, one touchdown. Hmm. Okay, not bad, I guess. So it looks like the Jets are off to a good start. The Bills are off to a good start. We... Still have a chance, of course, early in the season to still get back into this thing. I want to go ahead and check the news. Just I like to see what uh, everyone's uh, saying about us. Patriots, uh, actually there was nothing. They said nothing about us. That's interesting. I guess we're not even worthy enough to co get covered. Uh, let's see a little preview of the draft story. Alright, so it looks like this guy uh, is going to be a fast runner, apparently. His father was a was an Olympic sprinter, so that's already giving us a heads up on that he's going to have some speed. Darnell Christmas. Let me just write that down for a little note that we can start scouting next week and maybe we'll take a look on him. So there, we did not make any news. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, let's check out the stats. I want to look at Cam Newton's stats from last game. 236 yards. 66% completion. That's actually pretty good. Uh, two touchdowns. Our main problem, we couldn't run the ball. Our leading rusher was Cam Newton. The rookie actually had good signs. But that was about it. There was nothing else. In our running game. Damian Harris, not good. We need to pick up the running game. Harry shined. He had a big slant play and broke it off. 
And also, we cannot forget about Devin Asiasi, about that wonderful catch in the end zone, one-handed on the back line of the end zone. Wonderful. Okay, so now that we saw some stats, defense only got one sack, by the way, and that was by Chase Winovich. We need to get pressure on the quarterback better. Our left outside linebacker pick that we picked in the draft, he needs to do a better job. But, let's go ahead and uh, sim the Saints game. Actually, I think we'll, we will go ahead and play the Saints game. We'll sim the Car Carolina game, and then we'll play the Jets game. I think, yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I, uh, we'll make this video a little bit longer than usual. Uh, we're going to send the training, start training. Alright, good, good. Oh, we got some players to upgrade. Oh, Freeman is actually going to be upgraded too. Put Michael Jackson Senior man to man, because that's what we want to do. We want to be a 4-3 man defense. And Ashton Freeman. Get a little run stopping going here. Now he's a 70 overall. Hopefully that helps. I'm not I'm gonna guess not by much. It's not gonna really help that much. But little by little. Uh let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, let's see what we can do. Patriots at the Saints. Here we go. Welcome to the Mercedes Superdome here in New Orleans. Today we'll see the Patriots take on the New Orleans Saints. Both teams looking for a win. Last week Josh Hill was sensational. 7 receptions, 86 yards, 1 touchdown. And that touchdown reception went for 23 yards from Jacoby Brissett. On the other hand we see Cam Newton getting pumped up for the game. And he needs to get this New England offense going quickly. In the previous game against the Bills, he was not able to do that. The offense lacked very much in production, especially, especially in the run game. As the ball is kicked off to Gunnar Olszewski. And he brings the ball out to about the 27. So, as I was saying before, we're going to take a look at this Cam Newton's offense, this New England Patriots offense. 236 yards, 2 touchdowns through the air, only 22 out of 33 pass completions. The completion slash attempts are not that bad. The thing is, is that the Patriots need to get the ball moving early. 
And Cam Newing looks to do that as he comes out in the shotgun formation to start this game. He drops back and he passes to the right and it is intercepted already. Marshawn Lattimore on the play. Wow, what a terrible start for Cam Newing. And that is going to be written in the headlines. I'm sure already being made out on the NFL apps and everywhere else in the media that Cam Newton is already off to a poor start. Wow, interception on the play. The Saints take over. Jacoby Brissett to Alvin Kamara on the run. Picks up about four. Last week, Alvin Kamara rushed for about 61 yards, 20 rushes. Did not find pay dirt. Did not get into the end zone last week. Came close, but no cigar. As the Saints line up in jumbo formation... They have one right receiver split left, one out to the right. They seem like they're going to pass a drop back. Hits the slant pass to Michael Thomas. Jacoby Brissett hooks up with Thomas for 19 yards on the play. This is knocking right outside of New England's red zone. But the Saints move the chains as we look at the replay here. He gets it off just in time because pressure up the middle was coming from that rookie, Javier Ramos. The Saints come out in shotgun formation on the 22-yard line, first and 10. Brissett snaps the ball, drops back, throws it to the right side, and is incomplete, broken up by J.C. Jackson, the Stars' defensive back for the New England Patriots. Second and 10 on the 22. Brissett in shotgun formation once again. He passes out to the flat, and it is intercepted. It is number 22, Greg Connolly, the free agent pickup for the New England Patriots. Already a factor in this game as we have had turnovers on each of the first possessions of each team here today. The Patriots will get the ball back and here comes Cam Newton trying to redeem himself out of the, off of that first pass interception. Can he get this offense going? They're coming out in a single back formation. Hands the ball off to Damien Harris. Picks up about seven on the play. Second and three. Shotgun formation. Cam Newton comes out. One wide receiver split to the left, but they are going to run it, and it is going to be stuffed. Stucky, negative two yards on the play. Tackle for loss. Good defensive play. Cam Newton lines up in shotgun again. He looks left, he throws it, oh my goodness, he's intercepted once more, Xavier Rhodes. Cam Newton just threw that ball into double coverage, what was he thinking? The intended receiver was Lazard, the free agent pickup from the Packers. And so far, terrible, just terrible start for the New England Patriots. Two interceptions, my goodness. Two passes, two interceptions for Cam Newton. All right, here we go. Jacoby Brissett once again has a chance with good field position. Can he capitalize this time off of the interception he threw last time out? He passes it to the right side for about a two-yard pickup. And they go straight into another shotgun formation. Brissett drops back, hits Alvin Kamara over the middle. And if you're going to attack this New England defense, it's going to be in the middle of that defense. Buffalo attacked it with that tight end of theirs last week. And the Saints should be looking to do the same here as Brissett drops it off to number 17. Close to a first down, but I don't think he quite got it. It is going to be fourth and one. He's, he was just short. You have to wonder if Sean Payton's going to gamble the dice here and go for it on this 4th and 1. As you saw, number 17 run across the formation, but he was just short. About a yard away. The Saints are going to go for it. There he come out in a jumbo formation. They hand it off to Kamara. Kamara bounces to the outside for the first down. Alvin Kamara, what a play. What great vision on this fourth down play to convert. What a good call by the Saints offense. 
Jacoby Brissett comes out in single back formation. He drops back as the corner blitz comes, but it's picked up. And Brissett has to get, he had time, but Brissett felt the pressure. And he had to get rid of it, dumped it off to Kamara for a loss of one. McMillan was right there for the stop. He saw it all the way. Um, like we said earlier, this middle of this defense is where it needs to be attacked. But the middle linebackers can get to the outside really fast. It's a quick defense. More experience needs to be in the middle of this defense, though. As Jacoby hits the shotgun formation, and Chase Winovich drops him for the sack. Wow. He came in like a wrecking ball. Chase Winovich with the sack. It's going to be third and 24 at the 42-yard line. Jacoby Brissett in shotgun formation drops back. The pressure is coming. And, oh, they're going to say incomplete. The hand was moving forward. Adam Butler with the hurry on the play. So it's going to be a long range. Actually, they're going to send out the punt team. The Saints will not get points off this turnover. Once again, the New England defense holds strong. What a good punt by this punter. The punter punts it out about the four-yard line. What a great punt. New England's pinned in their, inside their five. Cam Newton in the pistol formation. Hands it off, and there is a flag down on the play. It's going to be holding. Now we're going to have to go to the two-yard line for the Patriots. The Patriots come out in an eye formation after that holding call. They're going to run the ball and nowhere to go. Maybe a two-yard pickup. My goodness. Two backs in the backfield. Shotgun formation. Cam Newton. And Cam Newton is almost sacked. They called a screenplay. Couldn't get, couldn't get the ball to the running back. And Cam Newton almost ends, it almost ends up as a safety. This Patriot offense is going nowhere fast. As the Patriots punt it away, 4th and 9 on the 5. And it is almost blocked. There is a flag down. This might be roughing the kicker. And it is. It's roughing the kicker. It's an automatic first down. Oh, what a terrible mental error for this Saints defense. They were going to get good field position once again. Sloppy game to start. Cam Newton gets a break off the penalty and is back out on the field. Can he capitalize? Stucky with the run to the rookie to the right side. And he picks up about five. It'll be second and five and this Patriots offense seems like it's on the move. Another run to Stucky and Stucky picks up a big gain. Almost 15 yards. We're going to say 14 yards on the gain. And it'll be first and 10 at the 39. My goodness. What a great run by the rookie. Cam Newton comes out in the shotgun formation. At the 39, they're going to keep with this rookie and run it again. About a six-yard gain. It's going to be second and three. At the 46, and New England's on the move with this running game. Cam Newton hands it off to Damian Harris, and he bounces outside. And he picks up the first down. This is what New England needs to do. They need to establish the run game. Once they establish the run game, play off the play action fake and give Cam Newton options on the underneath routes and the medium intermediate routes. Make the, the New Orleans defense drop a safety into the box. New England comes out in I formation. They are going to stick. 
into with this running game, but they are stuffed this time around. This defe this defensive line shows up. New England comes out in the pistol, second and eight, 44 yard line. They're sticking with the run game, and Damien Harris breaks a tackle, spins around, and is dropped for about four yards. Third and five coming up. Cam Newton in shotgun formation. And he's going to take off running. And he picks up a big gain down to the 20-yard line. 21-yard pickup by Cam Newton. Wow. He's still got the legs. He still has the strength. Cam Newton, 21 yards. First down, and Patriots are now in Saints territory, knocking in the red, they're in the red zone. Wow. Empty formation by Cam Newen. Drops back to throw. Cam Newen finally completes the pass to the rookie, and the rookie gets it down to about the three yard line. 17 yard pickup. Benjamin on the play. This rookie has been sensational for. The New England offense, one of the bright spots, as we see, just it's a little out route, it's a little out and stop route, and end zone coverage. No one saw the covered the tight end. Good, good, good play, good play, all around. As that's the end of the first quarter, where we have seen turnovers, we've seen stops, but now. The New England Patriots, after starting the game with two interceptions, are in the red zone. They hand it off, and Damian Harris is stuffed once again. New England comes out in a heavy set formation once again. You have to think they have to run this ball. And they do, and Damian Harris is stuffed again. There is no push from this offensive line. It's third and goal. What are the Patriots going to do here? Are they going to try and run it? No, they will pass. And Cam Newton is scrambling around. And he... It won't be a sack on the play. They did get to the line of scrimmage. New England has to go for a field goal here. I don't see them going for it. As we see New England scrambling. Rather, Cam Newton scrambling. Just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Oh my goodness. New England is going for a fourth and goal on the three. They were stopped three times already. And here we go. And they run the ball. And Damian Harris gets it in. For the touchdown. New England Patriots up on the board. Wow. What a gutsy call. So we look at the replay. The line showed up on fourth down. That was the biggest hole you'll probably see in this game. I could get down there and run through that hole. Wow. Damien Harris with the touchdown. What a drive by New England. And it all started because of a roughing the kicker play or penalty. The kick is up. The kick is good. 7 nothing. New England Patriots. 15 plays, 97 yards, 5 minutes and 31 seconds off the clock. It is now New Orleans' time to answer back. The Saints take over first and ten. He brings it out to the 25. Here comes Alvin Kamara and Jacoby Brissett. Can they answer back on this drive? We'll see coming up right now. Brissett in single back formation. And he hands it off to Alvin Kamara. And Alvin Kamara runs for about four yards on the play. Second and five coming up. Jacoby Brissett under center. Two wide receivers split out left, but they're going to run it. Straight up through the middle of this defense where they should be attacking. 
and it's working out so far too. Decent chunk plays, gets them the first down, first and 10 after 38. As we see just a big open hole, this defensive line did not get any push in the middle. Jacoby Brissett in shotgun formation. Hands it off to Alvin Kamara, and Alvin Kamara finds another big hole in the middle of this defense. Javier Ramos, the star rookie, is down on the ground. This middle of the defense is already weak, and now their star rookie defensive lineman is heading to the locker room. This smells like trouble for this New England defense already. Brissett in shotgun formation. Takes a high snap. Play action fake. Brissett has nothing but time. And throws it to the flat for a short gain to Michael Thomas. Third and inches coming up. Brissett drops back to pass and quickly gets it off to the tight end. He's off to the races. Wow, about a 15-yard pickup. This is exactly what Buffalo did to this New England defense. Short little routes in the middle, and the tight end got loose in the Buffalo game. The Saints are now looking to those type of plays in this game today. And it just paid off with about a 15-yard scamper. New Orleans is on the move. They are in Patriot territory. The 34-yard line, they're going to hand it off to Alvin Kamara, but is stopped by number 59, Perez Hall. Brissett changes the play at the line. Empty back formation. Pump fakes to the left. Goes to the left anyways. Hits the tight end in the flat, about a 6-4, mm, about 4-5 yard gain, 3rd and 6 coming up on the 30 yard line. Jacoby Brissett comes back out onto the field, empty back formation, drops back. And sends a floater to the right side. Oh, and another player is down for the New England Patriots. The middle of this defense is suffering right now. They are they are very thin. As we see him walk back to the locker room. The New Orleans Saints will go ahead and try and field goal as this defense stands. And the field goal is good. 7 and 3, New Orleans. The kickoff is away. Gunnar Olszewski brings it out to about the 27 yard line. As Cam Newen and this offense comes onto the field. And what a great drive they had last time out. Establishing the run. And a gutsy fourth and goal call to get the touchdown. Cam Newen goes under center. Hands it off to Damian Harris. Picks up about three on the play. There is an injury for the Saints. It's actually going to be a sick second and nine. It is only about a one yard pickup as uh, number 93 is getting treatment over on the sideline. Cam Newton breaks huddle, is in shotgun formation. He drops back and he's going to scramble and he is going to go down. He's sacked. Most of the sacks from the New England offensive line have come from Cam Newton scrambling to the outside when all he had to do was sit in the pocket and deliver the ball. It's a sack on the play, five yard loss.
Cam Newton, third and 15, comes out in an empty set formation. This is not a good down. Number one, Cam Newton on the keeper. For Cam, and Cam's going to scramble again. Cam's going to scramble to the left side and only picks up about two on the play. And the New England Patriots are going to have to punt it. Fourth and 13. New England punts it away. There is no one near the kicker this time. They are not giving the New England offense another chance again. So out comes the Saints offense. They had a decent drive. They need to stick more with Alvin Kamara on the ground. They had much success on that. Picking up chunk plays when they gave it to him on the ground. I have to imagine that's where they will go this time around as well. Second and six. And Brissett passes it short to the tight end. Third and two coming up. Brissett in I formation. They hand it off to Alvin Kamara, and Alvin Kamara makes a great move, and he's up the sideline, and he's going to the 20, to the 10, touchdown, no one's going to catch Alvin Kamara. My goodness, what a run, what great vision, what a great juke move by Alvin Kamara. It has put the Saints up so far, 9-7, to touchdown, Alvin Kamara, what a great run. And that's what a superstar can do for you on your team, an X-Factor. He is an X Factor, and that's exactly what he can do. He can change the game on a dime. As the field goal is up for the extra point, the New Orleans Saints is on top. 10-7, 10 unanswered points. What a run. This, this play is absolutely gorgeous, and what Alvin Kamara did to the linebacker to make a juke move and make him miss like that, just amazing you don't teach that type of stuff you just don't as the ball is kicked away to New England Gunnar Olszewski takes it out to about the 23 24 yard line and we'll see this New England offense try try to answer back from that amazing drive by Alvin Kamara and the Saints offense wow I'm still in disbelief of that run Cam Newton comes under center. Throws a quick pass over the middle to the rookie tight end. Cam Newton's only 2 for 5, 23 yards, and 2 interceptions. Cam Newton comes out and empty set. He starts to scramble again, and then he thinks twice. Throws it to the sideline. And that is going to be completed for about a 4-yard gain. As we hit the two-minute warning, Cam Newton will come out empty set formation. They will get the first down, but clock is running. They will go to the no huddle, and Cam Newton's about to orchestrate this offense. Throws over the middle, and the rookie gets the first down. Minute and 30 seconds, so they rush to the line. Two running backs in the backfield. Cam Newton over the middle. What a throw to Nikhil Harry. Wow. Best throw of the game by Cam Newton. As they're still on the move. A minute and 15 to go. Cam Newton hurries the offense to the line. As we look at a replay really quick. What a throw by Cam Newton to Nikhil Harry over the middle. Darts it in there. And that's what we need to see more of out of Cam Newton. Here we go, minute eight left, Cam Newton in the gun. He drops back, and it is almost intercepted. Cam Newton needs to be careful. Minute and about a minute left, Cam Newton drops back once again, and he hits his wide receiver on a post route. Man, that was tight coverage. He is squeezing it in on this drive. Lazard on the last reception. Nguyen is in the gun. Nguyen hits 
JJ Taylor on the outside doesn't really go anywhere. They take a timeout. Time is running. Time is a factor. 52 seconds. Cam Newen in the shotgun. Drops back. Throws, dumps it off to his rookie running back, Stucky. For a minimal game. 30 seconds left. Cam Newen drops the ball off. Gets the first down to Stucky. They have 16 seconds left with one timeout. Cam Newen drops back. He's going to throw it. And it's going to be caught in the end zone. Nikhil Harry, the first touchdown of the game. Wow, what a throw by Cam Newen. And the New England Patriots are back in this game. What a drive by Cam Newen and this Patriot offense. What a catch by Nikhil Harry. He goes up, he fights for the ball, and he brings it down. Both hands, feet in bounds. That's a touchdown, ladies and gentlemen. Pending the extra point, the New England Patriots are up. The extra point is good, 14-10. to 10. The New England Patriots will be going into halftime lead in this game. Cam Newton did an excellent job. He is now 10 of 11 for 72 yards and a touchdown with two interceptions. But ever since those two interceptions, he has been lights out. What a drive. What an answer. After allowing 10 straight points and then coming back to score points of your own before half, what a huge thing to do. Alvin Kamara up the middle, and that will all but end the first half. What a game. New England Patriots lead the New Orleans Saints 14-10 to going in to halftime. Saints have picked off the Patriots two times to New England's one interception. But as we're at halftime, we're going to check out other games across the NFL. And we're going to stick with the AFC East. And we're going to check on the Dolphins and Jets where the Dolphins are leading 20-10. to Tua's got a touchdown. Gurley's got a touchdown. The Jets are behind as we move over to Buffalo. And the Chiefs are winning. The Bills 28-10. Mahomes has a touchdown. And Edwards Elaire has two touchdowns on the ground. And we'll check with the Green Bay and Cincinnati game. Stay on the East Coast. Burrow has a touchdown. And Boyd has a receiving touchdown. 14-7. Bengals going into halftime. What a game so far. This scamper by Alvin Kamara was a game changer. It put the Saints up 10-7. What a great run by him. But on the very next drive, Cam Newen delivers a strike to Nikhil Harry. The so-called bust is showing up today. Great t touchdown catch. As we get the second half started, New England's leading 14-10. Saints have the ball to start the, or the second half. And here comes Jacoby Brissett. Can he answer back from that amazing drive by the Patriots last time out? Jacoby's in the shotgun formation. They hand it off to Alvin Kamara. About a two-yard gain. It will be second and seven coming up. Brissett, once again, the uh, shotgun formation. Two receivers split out left. One to the right, one tight end. They hand it off to Kamara, and he picks up a decent gain on second down. It's going to be third and five. Empty formation for Brissett this time. Kamara lined up as almost a tight end. And Brissett has a ton of time, and he finds his tight end, Hill, over the middle for the first down. Hill has 33 yards on four catches. This is earlier before New England t took the field, the offensive coordinator, trying to get Cam Newton more, more looks on the sideline. As we watch a replay of Hill with that good catch to secure the catch and get the first down. Jacoby Brissett is coming up to the line, shotgun formation. They need to get this running game going more, and they do with Alvin Kamara, but he is stuffed. One of the first times they have stuffed Camaro today. Camaro already has 100 yards on 17 rushes. Jacoby Brissett goes back into the empty set formation. Oh my goodness, wide open. 
What have we said coming into this game and what have we been saying during this game? The middle of this defense is the weakest for the New England Patriots. As they allow a free runner, Hill, tight end, just run through the middle for a 15-yard scamper. This middle of defense needs to get better. As Brissett drops back and goes out to and almost intercepted. Brissett threw it out to the flat where someone was in man coverage waiting for that ball to be thrown, but he dropped it. What an error by this New England defense. Could have had a pick six. But now Brissett's in under center. He motions in the wide receiver and he drops back and he goes to the outside again, but he floats it this time out of bounds. Not even catchable. Third and 10 on the 42 yard line of this New England Patriots defense. Can the Saints convert? Brissett, shotgun formation, two wide receivers split out left. He drops back. Camara wide open in the middle and he lunges out for the first down. That's what an X Factor can do for you guys. Gets the tough yards. Saints convert, shotgun formation, Brissett once again, he hands it off to the running back, number 28, he picks up about four on the, on the play, Latavius Murray, McMillan on the tackle, second six at the 27 yard line, Saints driving, Brissett drops back once again, shotgun formation, and hits his tight end over the middle once again all game, we have been talking about this, the middle of this defense needs help. The middle of this defense is thin with the injuries of Hall and Ramos out of this game. As we take another look at this replay, Brissett has all day to throw. No pressure, finds 89 Hill wide open. They come out in a pistol formation. Brissett drops back in. He throws it to Hill once again in the flat. Coming across the formation, hits him in the flat. Picks up about five. It is on the seven-yard line. Goal. The goal line is in sight for this New, or New Orleans offense. As we look at the replay for Hill. Brissett comes out in shotgun formation once again. And they hand it off to Alvin Kamara. And Kamara is down to the two-yard line. We have an injury timeout. One of the offensive linemen is down. And he will get some attention on the sideline. And here we go. First and goal at the two-yard line. Jacoby Brissett comes out in shotgun formation. Hands it off to Kamara. And Kamara walks into the end zone. His second touchdown of the game. New Orleans is on top. 16-14 pending the extra point. What a drive. What a drive by the Saints. Recognizing where the weakness is in this defense. And attacking it. Several times. Free runners. Running over the middle of this defense. Whether it was on the ground or through the air. The middle of this defense needs help. It's a weak point for the New England Patriots. They have to maybe bring a safety up into the middle of that box. Pending the extra point. Extra point is good. 17-14. New Orleans is back on top. Alvin Kamara has about 120 yards rushing already. And with two touchdowns. Can Cam Newton answer back? Gunnar Olszewski brings it out to the 25-yard line, and here comes Cam Newton to end this offense. Cam Newton lines up in single-back formation. He drops back and passes it to the outside where Benjamin breaks a tackle and fights for the first down. What a play. 
What a good play by this rookie tight end. He's been sensational all year long as they hand it off to Damien Harris for a minimal gain. About four yards. Second and four coming up. The Patriots are kind of moving this ball right now after two plays. Can they continue to do so? Cam Newton lines up in shock for shotgun formation. Second and six. He tries the option, but number 58 was there. He sniffed it out. Cam Newton should have gave that ball to the running back. Number 58 read it all the way. Third and ten coming up. Cam Newton, shotgun formation, third and ten. Cam Newton drops back. He's going to run to the right side and is sacked. What a terrible, terrible play. If you're a fan of the New England Patriots right now, you are cringing at the sight of that play. Cam Newton basically ran himself into a sack. Terrible. You know, you see bright spots of Cam Newton. You know, he puts 14 points, a touchdown right before the half. What a great throw he did on that throw. And then you see plays like this. That gets your team into bad situations. Back-to-back -back plays, bad situations. Took the option route himself, should have handed it off. And then runs into a sack. Forces a punt. Now, this New Orleans Saints defense is. This New Orleans Saints offense is now on the field. Second and seven, Cam Newton drops back and hits number 10 to the right side. Excuse me, Jacoby Brissett, not Cam Newton. We are here with the Saints offense, and they are on midfield at the 50-yard line. First and 10, Alvin Kamara bounces outside, breaks a tackle off of Chase Winovich, and then is stuffed behind the line of scrimmage. A rare sighting. Second and 11 coming up. Third quarter, a minute and 52, New Orleans is leading. 17-14, the New England Patriots. New Orleans up by three, and they come out in shotgun formation. Jacoby Brissett takes the snap. Passes it over to the middle, hits Michael Thomas on an in route. Good play, good catch, first down, Saints, and the Saints are driving. Brissett drops back and hits his receiver over the middle once again, number 17. Wow, Emmanuel Sanders. The Saints are moving, Brissett is moving the ball, he is slinging it right now. As we look at the replay that we are not going to look at, we are actually going to cut right to the film, right to the game, because Brissett snaps the ball. Hits the shotgun. Hits his tight end over the middle. And once again, another first down. Brissett is slinging the ball on this drive. He's perfect. Oh my goodness, what a hit by the defensive back to read that play. Try to get to the tight end in the flat. Wasn't happening. Incomplete pass. Second goal and Alvin Kamara gets the ball but is stuffed. Jawan Bentley in the backfield. Third and goal coming up. Wow, what a defensive stop by this middle linebacker, Jawan Bentley. My goodness. That's the end of the third quarter. We're going into the fourth quarter with the Saints in the, in the goal line area. 
We're on the 11-yard line, third and goal. Jacoby Brissett switches to an empty backfield. He drops back. He has all the time in the world, and out of nowhere, Chase Winovich gets the sack, but he's down on the field. What a chase! What what a play by Chase to hold them to a, a field goal, but he himself is hurt on the play. The field goal's up, and the field goal is good. Twenty to fourteen, Saints. It could have been a lot worse. If it wasn't for Jawan Bentley and Chase Winovich getting the key stops right there on two different plays. Oshesky brings it out to about the 22 and out comes Cam Newman. He's only down by one possession. He can lead this offense to a leading score. Can he do it though? Terrible outing. Three and out last time. Will he make some better decisions? He's in the shotgun formation. He drops back. He hits the screen pass. And there is a flag on the play. But Stucky, my goodness, Stucky, what a run by him off the screen pass. And the penalty's going to be a roughing the passer call. Add 15 more yards to that play. New England is in business. We did see their, one of their key offensive linemen get hurt right there in that scenario. He went to the sideline. Newen on the scramble to the left, and he hits his tight end on the run. Number 82, Benjamin. New England is on the move. They're on the 33-yard line, second and one. Cam Newen in shotgun formation. He hands it off to Stucky, and Stucky picks up the first down. Cam Newen. In shotgun for formation once again. First and ten. And he's going to scamper off. And he picks up about seven on the play. It's going to be second and three coming up on the 24-yard line. New England is driving. And as we see Chase Winovich on the sideline right now, he looks good. He looks ready to come back out on defense. Looks like everything is fine. Cam Newton coming out with shotgun. Hands the ball off to Stucky once again. He powers forward. What a good short run by Stucky. It's third and inches. They come out in a heavy formation, but shotgun. One receiver split out right. They hand the ball off to Damian Harris, and he picks up the short game for the first down. This New England Patriots def or offense once again is moving. They are in the red zone now. The Saints defense needs to stop these little tiny plays that are happening. Good run by Damien Harris. He kind of got caught up in his offensive line. It probably helped him actually because he saw the hole and then was able to attack it for the first down. They hand the ball off to Sony Michelle, a first time for Sony Michelle touching the ball, but Damien Harris comes back in. Two receivers split out left. More of a heavy formation, and Damien Harris is stuffed. They try to stretch play to the right, but it did not work. Cam Newton in a heavy formation right now. Third and seven. The Patriots need to convert this. He throws the ball over the middle and is short. To Lazard, fourth and one. I believe the Patriots have to go for this. I mean, you haven't really been stopping the Saints all day. Only two or three times you stopped them, and they will go for it. Cam Newton in shot in single back formation, and it is intercepted on fourth and one. And the linebacker is gonna take it all the way. Twenty ten. Wow! Touchdown, New Orleans Saints. What a change of events as the Saints will go for the two-point conversion. Brissett motioning number 81 to the right side of the line. And Brissett drops back, throws it, and it's incomplete. But my goodness, what a turn of events. Cam Newton with his third interception, knocking at the goal line for the leading score. 
And instead, on fourth and one, he forces it, and it is intercepted. Gunnar Olszewski to the 25-yard line. Cam Newen through his third interception, and you have to question the play call here. You need to put your quarterback in a position to win, and with a beefy offensive line, your offensive line, one of your strong suits, why not run it on fourth and one? Cam Newton drops back in single back formation, hits his running back in the middle. Going back to that play, I just think you have to run it in that situation and not put everything on Cam Newton. As Cam Newton drops back and hits his receiver over the middle, Jacoby Myers, for a big gain. Although it's not over yet, there is four minutes still left and the Patriots are driving as we speak on the 49-yard line. Cam Newton drops back, and he runs around, and he escapes to the right side and picks up about six yards on the play. Second and three coming up. The Patriots do have, still have a chance, and they are driving. They are on Saints territory. As Cam Newton throws a great ball to Lazard. Looked like, almost like a slant post route. Cam Newton comes out in the empty set formation. He's going to scramble left, and he's going to take off, and he's going to slide down to the ground, pick up about seven. It's going to be second and three coming up. Two minutes left. They need to get the ball into the end zone. Cam Newton on the scramble once again. He will pick up the first down, breaks a tackle, picks up about eight or nine on the play. First and ten at the 19-yard line. They are The Patriots are in the red zone, coming back strong after that interception. Cam Newton in single back formation. Trio bunch to the left. They're going to hand the ball to Damian Harris, and it doesn't really go anywhere. Bell pick up about three. That is the two-minute warning, and the Patriots need a touchdown here. If they don't get a touchdown, the game is almost over. Cam Newton gets sacked on the play, something they did not need. They tried the screen, and it wasn't happening. Third and 13, Cam Newton throws it, but it's incomplete. He drops the ball. He would have had the first down. Incomplete pass. This is it. This is the ball game. Fourth and 13, Cam Newton, empty set formation. If they don't get this, the ball game's over. Cam Newton throws it toward the end zone, and it's almost intercepted. Incomplete. The Saints are going to take over on downs, and they are going to get out of here with a win. C.J. Gardner-Johnson, number 23, forces the incomplete pass on Lazard. It's almost the same play that Cam Newton got picked off earlier in the game, just on the other side. And you have to question the play calling here. You have to question the play calling here. The Saints are going to get out of here with a win. As the defense makes a tackle for loss and the Patriots are going to go ahead and use their timeouts and try for a miracle. But honestly, this game is all but over. Cam Newton had three interceptions. Way too many mistakes. Jacoby Brissett gets the first down on the keeper. And that will ensure the W for the New Orleans Saints. Cam Newton has three interceptions in this game. And you just have to wonder the question, the play call. Questioning the play call on that fourth and one. He, they should have ran the ball. I'm, I'm almost certain. I am 90% certain. If they would have ran the ball, they probably would have picked it up. And who knows? Maybe this game would be a different scenario right now but instead we had the interception returned for a touchdown on that fourth and one made it 26 to 14 and then they lose out on the fourth and 13 play on a questionable play call to Lazard when he was double covered I mean play calling was bad the middle of this defense is bad the interceptions turnovers have to stop as the Saints punt it away, but time expires. It is the end of the game. New Orleans Saints win this game. 26-14. Alvin Kamara over 100 plus yards. Two touchdowns on the day. 
Defense was the bread and butter today for the Saints with a run game and Brissett mostly being a game manager. 127 yards on the ground for the Saints. 154 passing yards for the Patriots. Three takeaways for the Saints compared to one for the Patriots. I would have to wonder, there will be a lot of talk on the questionable play calls in this game. Well, that's your final, folks. 26-14 Saints. We'll see you next time. And they do. They get it, give it off to Kamara. A nice little chunk play again for about five yards. What another rough outing. I just, I can't. Three interceptions from Cam Newen. We'll go ahead and upgrade Nikhil Harry to physical. He had a touchdown last game. That's two touchdowns in a row for Nikhil Harry. One of the bright spots on the offense as well as our tight end, our young tight end. But another loss for the New England Patriots. 0-2, giving up more than 25 points a game so far. The defense needs to be figured out. Alvin Kamara ran all over us. Once again, the middle part of our defense let us down. So it's something that we need to address going forward. We'll go ahead and look at the injury report because Chase Winovich got injured. And Shaq Mason got injured as well. And he's going to actually be out for eight weeks. Oh, boy. So that's that just got more rough for the New England Patriots. We might have to move. We're going to go ahead and sim to the next week. We might have to move uh, Michael from right tackle and put him in as right guard and have Illuminor as our right tackle. Uh, we're going to go ahead and scout the college players really fast so I'm thinking middle linebacker and quarterback is what we have to address in this year's upcoming draft and it looks like there's not going to be a quarterback so we're either stuck with Cam Newton for another year, which I highly doubt. Because I, the way he's playing right now, it looks like he's going to regress to the point where we're just going to have to find someone in free agency. But the middle linebacker position looks promising. Mid first round pick. And we'll scout Sean Baskerville in the next scouting next week we're gonna go ahead and uh sim ahead in uh next week to next week and so we will play the jets we'll sim the panthers game and we lost we are zero and three we are on a losing streak we lost by a field goal so let's go ahead and take a look at the stats of that game 
see what exactly happened. There it is. Offensive rush yards, 84 to Carolina's 165. The middle of our defense is terrible. Offensive pass yards, 357, most on the season for Cam Newen. Turnovers, we had one. Carolina had zero. So let's go ahead and look at the player stats. And we will just look at ours for now. Patriots, uh, there we go. Cam Newen actually went off. Cam Newton actually had a good game. He bounced back from the three interception game, the pick six, pick six at the end of the game against the Saints, and he threw four touchdowns and one interception. That's actually really good. He actually did really good this time around. His completion, 30 of 36. And this was against his old team, but came up short still. Rushing, our rushing yards are just terrible. Receiving, Alan Lazard. One touchdown, 137 yards. Kind of what we got him in free agency for, to be that guy. To be the guy, and he showed up today, but once again, we lost the game. Our defense is atrocious. Trey Benjamin got his first career receiving touchdown. Darren Godwin also got his first receiving touchdown. And Ryan Izzo got a receiving touchdown. Myers and Lazard paved the way in the receiving yards. Nikhil Harry ends his touchdown streak. Blocking. Um, more than likely did not record the blocking, I'm guessing. Actually, it did. It says Shaq Mason played, but he was hurt. So I'm not exactly what happened. Not exactly sure what happened there. Uh, Joe Tooney gave up three sacks. We're not sure how it happened. It could have been on Cam Newton scrambling around. The defense... Javier Ramos led the team in tackles. Two tackle for losses. Good for the rookie. Josh had three tackles for losses. Good for him. He also had a sack. So Josh kind of showed up a little bit. Uh, kicking. Hopkins made his one and only field goal attempt on the season, I believe. Alright, so the big one. First, let's uh, view the weekly awards. Stafford tops the offensive weekly award, award, while Hughes tops the defensive player weekly award for the NFC. Cam actually made offensive player of the week, but once again, we are not looking for accolades like we need wins that's what we need right now it's a team game and Devin McCourty ex-patriot gets the defensive player of the week for the AFC side So we will now go back. Uh, frustrated running back, I believe so. I mean, apparently it was our fault that he didn't get enough touches. Um, I want to get him involved. I'm not the one doing the play calling. Well, technically, I kind of am because it is a creative head coach by me, but that's besides the point. <laughs> Um, get Damian Harris 12 plus touches or 100 plus yards. 
rushing or receiving. I I don't know. I I bet we can get him the 12 carries, but not the 100 rushing yards. Stop the losing streak, Adrian Phillips says. What can we do to stop it, linebackers? Plus 10 for the linebackers, for morale. Hold the Jets to less than 50 yards rushing. That would be an amazing feature if we did that. Jets are 1-2, and two. we're 0-3, and three, but we're playing at home. We just had three road games to start out the season. We're finally at home. Will it make a difference? We'll find out soon. We're going to go ahead and scout, uh, get the scouting done. Uh, available. No linebacker. Go ahead and scout Sean. Undrafted. Not looking good so far. Looks like the only one for the middle linebackers, uh, Dudley. Brian Jordan, a third round talent. Second round talent. We're going to go ahead and add to the draft board for Weber. And add to the draft board for Dudley. We really want Dudley. We need stars on this team. That's what we need. And Morell in the seventh round. Wow. So we're going to add him to the board as well. We really need stars. We're lacking star power. Um, go ahead and start the weekly training. Sim, Sim, starting starting the train. Get the XP going. See if we can upgrade any players before the game. And we can. Who's it gonna be? Fire in. Uh, run stop, please. This defensive line needs to do better. The middle of this defense needs to do better. Devin Asiasi, go ahead and do possession. We need linebackers in the middle of this defense. Jawan Bentley is just not cutting it right now. Uh, I'm going to go with possession. Because it adds to run blocking. Okay. Let's start this week 4 matchup. Can the New England Patriots get back on the board? Or can we get a win. Can we get in the win column is what I should say. Because we are in a desperate need for a win. Let's check the injuries really quick. Shaq is still out. Isaiah wins out. And JJ, our offensive line is decimated. We need to go to the depth chart. Because our <laughs> we are decimated at offensive line. Isaiah win is hurt once again. Justin Heron, okay. Right tackle. We're actually going to put Illuminor on right tackle. And we're going to put Michael at right guard right now. Will the tackles hold up? Probably not. But it is the Jets. The Jets are 1 and 2. We're in three. Let's see what we can do. The New York Jets at the New England Patriots. The Jets one and two. The Patriots zero and three. Can the Patriots finally get a win? We'll find out.
Dustin Hopkins set to kick off. All right, guys, the Jets at the Patriots kickoff is underway, and the Jets will take the ball first. As the Patriots come off a loss from the New Orleans Saints, they are 0-3. and The Jets coming in 1-2. and Sam Darnold has 784 yards, 3 touchdowns to 4 interceptions. Not a real terrible, terrible year. But also not a great year either. Sam Darnold's coming out in a run, look, offense, eye formation. And he... Play actions, Chase Winovich hits the quarterback and he launches it downfield, but it's way, way over his receiver's head. Almost had a chance for an interception. Sam Darnold back in single back formation after that wild throw. Hands it off to the running back and the running back picks up a decent gain. Five yard rush on the play. Third and five. Sam Darnold once again in shotgun formation comes out, drops back, and is sacked by Adam Butler. Adam Butler gets to the quarterback, takes down Sam Darnold, and is fourth and fourth team. What a play by Adam Butler to stop this offense in the early game. Winovich was right behind him. Coming after the quarterback, too. Out comes Cam Newton after the punt. Cam Newton, seven touchdowns to four interceptions, 769 yards. Already almost over his high touchdown um, from last season. Last season, he had eight touchdowns in it, and he's already almost past that. One more touchdown, he'll tie it. First and ten, and the Patriots come out running the football. Damian Harris picks up three on the play. Cam Newton comes back in shotgun formation. He motions Lazard into the slot. Drops back. Scrambles on the play and is taken down by Quinn Williams. What a sack. Once again, Cam Newton runs in to a sack himself where he could have stayed into... Stayed in the pocket just a little bit longer. He had time to stay in the pocket a little bit longer than what he broke out of. And then runs himself into Quinn Williams for the sack. It's what's been happening all year. Third and 12 coming up. Cam Newton drops back. Hits his receiver. Jacoby Myers on an out route. Beautiful route. Got separation from the defender. Cam Newton hits him. First down. Pick up a 12. And gets the first down. Cam Newton hands the ball off. And Damien Harris is stuffed at the line. Goes nowhere. Maybe back to the line of scrimmage. Cam Newton comes out in the shotgun. Takes the snap. And Cam Newton runs into once again another sack. This time Franklin Myers on the sack. Cam Newton had more time than what he thought. He once again got flustered in the pocket and ran outside for another sack. Just poor decision making in the pocket from Cam Newton. Running too early out of the pocket. 3rd and 15 for the Patriots. I, I don't know if they can convert another long one. Let's see. Cam Newton throws it up, and incomplete. Knocked down by the defender. And the Jets will take over after the punt. Sam Darnold coming out to the field. As we move a little bit later in the second quarter, Sam Darnold hands it off to the running back, and he scampers for a big gain. About 15 yards on the play. Sam Darnold, Sam Darnold controlling things at the line of scrimmage, calling things out. He's in shotgun, but he hands the ball off to his running back once again, and he runs up the middle. 
It's been a defensive game most of the game today. And it looks like the Jets are finally getting a little bit of offense going. Sam Darnold hands it off again. It seems like the running game is working on this drive. They sh should probably stick with it since it's getting their offense going. Sam Darnold under center and he motions the tight end to the left and runs left with the running back for a decent gain. Seven yard pickup. Second and three on the 31. Five minutes left in the second quarter. Sam Darnold eye formation hands it off to the running back but is stuffed by Jawan Bentley. The middle of that defense showed up right now on this play. Good penetration from defensive line and the linebacker was able to break through and stop the running back for a tackle for a loss. Third and three coming up on the 31-yard line. Jawan Bentley makes the tackle. Good play. Winovich was there too. The defense was swarming. Third and three coming up. Darnold in shotgun formation. Barrios in the slot formation. Crowder split out right. Darnold drops back and... Incomplete pass. The running back drops it. Some would say that would be rock hands because he would have gotten the first down. Fourth and three coming up pending a field goal. Second quarter. Jets have a chance to go up by three. Connolly on breaking up the pass. He's been an asset coming over in free agency from the Packers. So far, already an interception. Two interceptions on the season as the Jets kick a field goal and it is good. The Jets go ahead and kick the ball off. Gunnar Olszewski takes the ball out to about the 23-24 yard line. And out comes Cam Newen. Cam Newen hasn't really gotten anything going today. Can he help this offense get into the end zone? As he takes over in the second quarter with four minutes left. First and ten. Shotgun formation. Cam Newen takes the snap. Hands the ball off to Stucky the rookie. And gets maybe about a yard. Second and nine. Coming up. Single back formation. Trio to the right side. One wide receiver split out left. Damian Harris takes the ball, rushes it up the middle for about three or four yards. Third and five coming up. The running game needs to do a bit better for the Patriots, but Cam Newen is in the shotgun formation. Third and five. They actually hand it off, and it's going to be stopped. Fourth and three. What is the play call? What was that play call? Fourth and three coming up. The Patriots are going to punt it away. The punt is up. And the Jets return it for about six or seven yards on the return. And out comes... Sam Darnold, once again. Jalen Richard has 45 yards today on five rushes. That's a nine yard per carry. As the Jets, with three minutes left in the second quarter, are going to run the ball right now, but they only maybe get a yard, maybe in a tackle for loss. Actually, they gain about three, and it's second and seven. Darnold in the shotgun formation with two minutes and 30 seconds left. Does a running back draw. Picks a good, picks up about a good six yards on the play. Second and, or third and two coming up. Play action fake from Sam Darnold. Throws the ball. Jamison Crowder on the play. Picks up about 10, 15 yards. First and 10 and the Jets are moving with the two minute warning hitting. Jets lead 3-0 at the two-minute mark. 
Jets have the ball over Patriots territory, 40-yard line. Shotgun formation, Darno drops back, throws the ball to the left side, and hits number 13 on the play. Sam Darnold hits him for about 13 yards. First and 10, Sam Darnold in the no huddle offense right now. And it is intercepted, thrown to the right side, and number 33 picks it, and he's going to take it back all the way. Wow. What a play by Jawan Williams. Number 33, it puts New England on the board. Touchdown. Pick six. Sam, I don't know what Sam Darwin was thinking. He thought he had the arm strikes. He did, he did not see the nickel corner in the flat cut, shadowing that zone. Jawan Williams read him like a book. Picked him off, and he deserves to go to the house on that interception. What a great play. 7-3, New England. As Cam Newton comes out, as we sim a little bit later in the quarter, Cam Newton comes out. He's going to toss the ball out to the left side. There is a flag down. Roughing the passer on the defense, or excuse me, face mask on the on the defense, and it'll be added an extra 15 yards. So now the Patriots have good field position with 32 seconds in all three timeouts. Can Cam Newton come out and put a drive together as he tosses the ball to the flat once again for about five or six yards? It's going to be second and three, 20 seconds left, 27 seconds left in the second quarter. Cam Newton drops back, and he's chased, and he's sacked right away. Timeout, New England. Third down coming up. Wow. It's third and 13 after that huge sack. Newen in the gun. He drops back. The blitz is on, and he's going to run into it. Oh, no. It's a fumble. Cam Newen fumbles on the play. Cam Newen tries to escape the pressure from the blitz coming from his right side. He rolls left, and he fumbles on the play. The Jets are in a good position to at least get a field goal out of this. Sam Darnold, empty set backfield. Passes it to number 81, and he fights for the first down already in field goal position. The Jets actually take a timeout here. I think they might just trot out the field goal kicker right now, and they do. The Jets, with a long field goal attempt, the kick is up, and the kick is good. The Jets will go into halftime, 7-6. to six. As the Jets will kick off to the Patriots with three seconds left, you have to imagine that Newen will come out and take a knee. 7-6, New England Patriots leading at halftime. As we sim further and skip the halftime show, it will begin the third quarter, begin the second half. The Patriots will start out with the ball. And Cam Newland comes out in shotgun formation. Cam hands the ball off to the rookie. Maybe a one-yard gain. Second and nine coming up. One of the coaches prepping the defense and offensive players on the sideline right before halftime as Cam Newton's in the shotgun hands it off Damien Harris runs to the left side and gains about five on the play third and three coming up Cam Newton under center and they're going to run the ball to f with Damien Harris and he scampers for a big game 15 yards on the play 
What a hole by the offensive line. Good play. The offensive line just opens up a big hole in the middle of this defense. And Damian Harris found the hole and ran right up into the second level. Cam Newton comes out in the empty set formation. You wonder why, because the running game seems to be working. But Cam Newton passes, it hits! Jacoby Myers! Slap route over the middle! Big game! Wow! We haven't seen that all day today. Again, empty set formation. Pump fake hits Jacoby Myers again! Right side! Where has Jacoby Myers been all day? That's his third reception, almost 50 yards. Cam Newton comes out in shotgun formation and passes over the middle to the rookie tight end for about a six yard gain. The passing game seems to be working these last few plays. Will they stick with it? Yes they will. Cam Newton passes it and hits Lazard in the flat for the first down. It will be first and goal, goal on the three yard line. Cam Newton hands it off and Damien Harris is stuffed. Tackle for loss on the play. Second and goal. Four yard line, Cam Newton drops back and passes it and he finds no one so he will throw it out of the back of the end zone. Third and goal coming up. Cam Newton runs to the right side. He scrambled and it is a touchdown. The first rushing touchdown for the season for Cam Newton. The Patriots go up and lead the Jets to increase the score. Pending the field goal 13-6. What a scramble by Cam Newton to finish this drive. The extra point is good. 14-6 New England. 10 plays, 76 yards. A rushing touchdown for Cam Newton as the offense celebrates on the sideline. As we sim forward a little bit further into the game, Sam Darnold comes out on offense. Gives it to the back and picks up a minimal gain of about three yards. Sam Darnold in shotgun formation. Quick pass to the left side. Hits his receiver for about three yards. Third and two coming up. Sam Darnold hands it off to the running back up the middle to Matt Breida. First down, Jets. Jets are moving. The Jets have only scored two field goals in this game. They have to get into the end zone. It's getting to crunch time as we see the replay of the first down run. Sam Darnold needs to get this offense into the red zone. And give the Jets a chance to actually score a touchdown. As Sam Darnold enters the I formation. Runs the ball up the middle for a good gain. About 7 yards on the play. Second and 3 coming up. Sam Darnold drops back in shotgun formation. Hits his receiver to the right side. Jamison Crowder on the play. Jets are almost at midfield. They need to start attacking the middle of this defense. It's where the New England Patriots' weak spot is. Sam Darnold to the outside, to the left side, to uh, Jamison Crowder. Good out route by Jamison Crowder. Got the separation. Darnold, good, hard, bullet point throw. And they move the chains as we watch this replay right here. He steps into the throw. Crowder with the nice hands to get the ball. And it results into a first down. Good play by the Jets. They're over New in New England territory. As Sam Darnold drops that 
drops back for the shotgun formation and hits Jameson Crowder once again three plays in a row on another out route just on the other side of the field. Darnold comes out in I formation and they now run the ball up the middle for about six yards. Second and five coming up. Another I formation. Two receivers split out on each side. They hand the ball off, number 34, and it just may look that he was short. And they are going to call it short. Third and one, big third and one play right here. Jets need to convert this. And they will. A big scamper up the middle. First and goal at the four yard line for the New York Jets. Already, Jalen Richard has 72 yards on the day off of 14 attempts. They need to keep giving him the ball. As we look at this big hole, the offensive line created right up the middle. Jalen Richard goes. Duggar on the, t on the tackle. Sam Darnold drops back. And it is intercepted. He tried going back to the well. Try to hit Jamison Crowder, but it ended up in an interception by J.C. Jackson. What a play by this Patriot defense. Wow. As Cam Newen and Damian Harris trot out onto the field, Cam Newen comes out in empty set formation. A little bubble screen doesn't really go nowhere. Tackle for loss, a loss of one on the play. Cam Newman comes out in a pistol formation now. Two wide receivers offset as they run the ball, and Damian Harris gets stuffed again. Only a two yard pickup, third and nine. Is this going to be a three and out for the Patriots already? Empty set for Cam Newman. He drops back, hits his receiver. Quickly over the middle, and it looks like it's going to be a three and out already. As we simulate a little bit further into the quarter. And Cam Newton has been sacked all day long. On this drive, can he get something going? It's been 14 to 6 all game. We're in the fourth quarter. Cam Newton is starting in his own end zone. And here we go. Stucky on the run. Pick up of about three on the play. Cam Newton has been harassed all day by this defense. Five sacks. This has been a defensive battle. 121 rushing yards. New England has 131 passing yards. Jets 121 rushing yards. The story of two different ways for this offense. Third and four on the play after the rush. Cam Newton shotgun formation. He passes it to Benjamin. And it's a good first down pickup by the rookie. As we look at the replay, it's a good out route by the rookie. Gets separation, picks up the, puts his shoulder down to ensure the first down. Good play by him. The rookie's been doing good all season long. Cam Newton comes out in a pistol formation, changes the play at the line, and they're going to run the ball to Damian Harris. Picks up about five on the play. Second and four coming up. Cam Newton single back formation. He's going to scramble out to the left. And he's not even going to get back to the line of scrimmage. It's going to be considered a sack. On the play, CJ Mosley gets the sack added to his stat sheet. Third and five coming up. Five minutes left in the fourth quarter. Cam Newton in the shotgun. He drops back once again. And he hits his tight end over the middle. Big body tight end over the middle for the first down. Cam Newton is driving this Patriots offense. 
As we look at the replay here, good catch by the rookie. Reaches out for the ball, grabs it with his hands, doesn't let it hit his chest, gets down for the first down. Cam Newton empty set. They try it for a little bubble screen once again, but it is stopped. The Jets are reading this offense on the screen passes. Second and 12, tackle for loss. Four minutes left now in the fourth quarter, and it's getting down to crunch time. This defense has been showing up when needed and when they needed to get stops, and they need to get a stop now in order to get their offense back into this game. Second and 12. Cam Newton in shotgun formation. He drops back, and he hits his tight end, his rookie tight end, once again. The first rounder. In the last draft, Benjamin, he's been doing great things for this New England offense after missing Rob Gronkowski. He's been the fill as the Patriots on a third and run give it to Damian Harris and picks up the third down run. Big play. Three minutes left. Jets need to stop the Patriots if they want to get back into this game. Stucky on the run, runs it to the right side, and doesn't really pick up anything. Back to the line of scrimmage he goes. Cam Newton in the shotgun once again. And fumble on the play. Oh my goodness gracious. Cam Newton just fumbled again. Turnover on downs. The Jets have it. The Jets have it in New England territory. This just became a game. A very tight game right now. Can the Jets. Can the Jets. Score off this turnover. Out comes Sam Darnold. In the shotgun formation, switching the play at the line of scrimmage, it looks like. And he hits his receiver over the middle, and he will come back out into a single back formation. He has three minutes. They need to start hurrying this offense up. He hits his running back over the middle for about seven, eight yards on the gain. First down coming up. Sam Darnold, shotgun formation. They're driving on the 23-yard line after Cam Newton's fumble. Darnold almost gets picked off. He needs to be careful here. The Jets need a touchdown. Darnold drops back. Hits his running back. Checks it down. Saw nothing downfield. He checks it down to his running back. Third and eight coming up. This is huge for the Jets. They need to convert. The Jets are actually going to run the ball, and you have to question the play call. This is, I guess this is four down territory, so they were trying to get some yards, and they did get two. Fourth and six coming up. The Jets need this, or else it's ball game. Darnold drops back over the middle, and he catches it. Number 81. Dorsett for the touchdown. Oh, my. This is game. This is Huge right now. Two-point conversion. Sam Darnold drops back. He throws it, and it's incomplete. The Patriots still lead 14-12. to The Jets do have three timeouts. After the kickoff, Cam Newton comes out in an I formation. The Jets have all three timeouts. Can they stop this defense to get the ball back? What a turn of events here. The Jets score a touchdown, couldn't get the two-point conversion. The Patriots are now trying to run the ball out. Jets take a timeout to stop the clock. Second and eight, Cam Newton hands the ball off. And Damian Harris almost gets the first down. It's a third and one coming up, ladies and gentlemen. This is ball game. Third and two. If Patriots convert, the ball game's over, and they will get their first win of the season. And the Patriots... Duke end up converting, and that will be the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Patriots will escape with a home win, 14 to 12, when Cam Newton fumbled the ball and almost lost the game for the Patriots. Unbelievable what we just saw here today. Unbelievable. Cam Newton will get his first win of the season. Along with the New England Patriots. It wasn't it wasn't a pretty win. It was very ugly. Very ugly win. But the Patriots stuck with 
their defense stuck with a little bit of the running game and now they will punt the ball away and the Patriots will end up winning as the clock goes to zeros and he is tackled and that's ball game Patriots end up winning they got their first win of the season what a game It wasn't pretty. Cam had two fumbles. Almost one giving up the lead, or at least, you know, tying the lead. But Cam ended up winning. Um, we did get our first win of the season. What a game. That was really close. That was exciting. I did uh, trim a lot of this game down. Um, but... Out of this, out of everything we saw out of this game, uh, Cam Newton went 14, 1,817 yards. No touchdowns, but he did have a rushing touchdown. He didn't have an interception, but he had two fumbles lost. But as we look at a little bit more of the stats here, uh, th this is going to do it for this video. Uh, let's see. The next video, we might play one game, or we just might sim everything. I think we might end up playing one more game because I don't want to make it too long into this series where we play every game because we don't want that. At some point in the series, I will just sim out the rest of the games. I think we have the tie-ins up next and then a bye week. And then after that, we'll play maybe one of the games after our bye week. But yes, that that's about it. Our defense did wonderful this game. Cam Newton did okay. He had two fumbles. But we're improving. So we are 1-3 in three on the season. And I hope you guys have been liking this series. Uh, the rebuild of the New England Patriots. If you guys, you know, please keep checking out the video. And I'll see you next time.